Hello guys, welcome to 3ds Max News. We will see what happened in the month of October around 3ds Max. And we will start by Dynamo. Dynamo is a new plugin made by the Form Dynamics and it's a GPU accelerated cloth dynamic simulation. It's aiming for real time simulations. According to the developers, it is capable of 10 to 100 times faster performance than the standard cloth simulation in 3ds Max. Right now, it supports stretching, bending stiffness, pressure, and wind forces with ability to animate every property independently. And as you can see, it's great to create all types of different simulations interacting with the cloth really fast. And it costs $99, so I think it's a pretty good deal and something that a lot of 3ds Max artists was waiting for to have a new and faster cloth simulation in 3ds Max. We have a new Max 2A that gives support to the latest Arnold 6.1 that it is well new. This new update for Arnold Imagers allows for post-processing effects as color correction, exposure or vignetting at render time. We have nested dielectrics that now has a priority system when you have glass to water, uh, coplanar surfaces, things like that. Progressive and adaptive sampling is way faster. Arnold running under Windows is 7 to 8% faster as well, and a lot of improvements on GPU. It will use way less RAM, and it has support for AOB groups, light linking, and multiple USD enhancements on this new version of Arnold. This video is sponsored by Storm. Storm has a new version, 0.5, with a lot of new features. It adds a nodal interface, VDB toolkit solution to create all types of VDB operations. It talks really great with 3ds Max. You can export and import data from 3ds Max like PRTs, Alembics for particles or meshes, importing and exporting all types of data. And it adds a new smoke solver that it sparse smoke solver. And you can interact while you are simulating with it. It's really great. I use it a lot in production already in multiple movies. I totally suggest that you check it out on Effective Technical Directors. You will have the link below. Awesome program, very fun to use and really powerful. Changso Eun keep adding different OSL mini tutorials, this time how to read scene data into OSL and manipulate it in different ways to create different materials. And remember that we have from Changso Eun render stack that has been updated to a new version with a lot, a lot of new features. It's a great rendering managing system in 3ds Max, very easy to use and really powerful. Milo Cerney updated his video about why you should use CAD in 3ds Max, that CAD is the rigging system in 3ds Max. Multiple considerations why it's still a very good solution for rigging in 3ds Max. Great video and Milos has as well a full channel talking about CAD, so if you need tutorials or learn more about that, check it out because it's really great. Hard Mesh for 3ds Max is available right now, it's done by Pux, it's a plugin that allows the user to create advanced boolean system with the ability to smooth the resultant edges. It starts a collection of scripts for Maya, but now it's a total new plugin and we have it available for 3ds Max for $80. A new update for Meow's Manage Links. It helps you linking SketchUp, Rhino, AutoCAD and your preferred Beam or CAD program with 3ds Max. It imports your models, cleans, fix, and imports geometry and split it per material. It does it way faster than the original 3ds Max solution, and it costs $25. This month I wanted to showcase two different things done in 3ds Max. One is this viral video that I hope that you saw it already. It's done by Mohsen Moradi. It's done with 3ds Max and V-Ray by one guy doing this very eye-catching animation that I think is really great, uh, really cool. And the other one is done by my buddy Will Wallace that he created this making of. You have the full video as well that I will link below. And it's really cool. It's a lot of effects. Will is a great FX artist in a scanline I am lucky to work with. And doing a lot of things with thinking particles. And you will see a mix of 3ds Max, TP and a Houdini in the mix. All this is 3ds Max with TP. Uh, great stuff and really cool things uh, to create visual we use a lot of thinking particles to destroy things, but as you can see, we can create a lot of different abstract uh, animations with it. Uh, the making of and the full video is great, so don't forget to check it out. Posture has a new version, 1.3 beta. It's a free post saver for 3ds Max. It's capable of saving multiple positions of unlimited objects. Data can be stored in two ways, global and locally. 
AQ Measure version 2 has been released. It allows to create BDB operations in 3ds Max. On this new version, you have a nodal interface to have more flexibility with it. Polycloth was released one or two months ago, but now we have version 2, with much more features to this physics-based close brush for 3ds Max. On this new version, we have new brushes, slide brush, mask brush, blur mask brush, gravity, pressure options, and way more. Really cool if you need to sculpt a cloth or kind of in a very interactive way. Very interesting tool for sure. A stock model fixer by 3D Grounds has released this script that collects together a lot of different tools to quickly fix stock models. You will have different tools to remove animation keys, disable back face school, remove empty objects, reposition the model, and creating these into multiple objects at the same time. It costs $5. Doom Spline Resizer is a really simple free script to add numeric commands into 3ds Max. Really simple interface, but can be very practical. A lot of times, if you come mostly from AutoCAD, you miss being able to, to write a length for your spline length or to do a rotation on a numerical way. This tool allows for that. Really simple, free, what else you can ask for. Lazy Manager is a really interesting script developed by Joker Martini. It's a new tool for 3ds Max that allows you to copy and paste objects, materials, and modifiers across multiple instances of 3ds Max. Also includes support for sharing these assets across an entire studio if you share a network location. Lazy Manager costs $10 and supports 3ds Max 2012 and superior versions. NVIDIA has announced the open beta for Omniverse. It's a photorealistic 3D simulation and collaboration platform that will be available for everyone this autumn, has support for 3ds Max, and it's based on USD to share information between programs. During October, we had two updates for Typeflow, a lot of bug fixes, a lot of improvements here and there, but maybe the most relevant has been Tile Looper. It's a modifier that allows you to loop animations. For example, you have a flag flying on the wind and you want to loop after 100 frames, you can make this loop not visible. Really interesting. Between November 17 to 20 of November, we have Autodesk University. For first time, because the pandemic is totally free online, there are over 45 expert classes and over 24 hours of media and entertainment con uh, content. You can already register for free. It's the 38th anniversary of 3ds Max, and most of the developing team on Autodesk will be answering questions to whoever wants on Reddit, will be November 2nd from 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So don't miss this date, guys. And this has been some of the news for the month of October in 3ds Max. Please, guys, if you like these videos, it will help a lot if you give a comment, like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you think it's interesting. We are close to 20,000 subscribers, so thank you a lot, guys. And especially to all my Patreons, that it helps a lot to make these videos because it's quite a lot of effort. Thank you a lot, guys. See you soon.